Hello everyone, this is John Amarillo, host of CBA's At The Bar, and I wanted to check in to let you know why you didn't hear a new episode of our podcast drop last month, and why you'll have to wait just a little bit longer for the next episode. We've been working on something for a few months now, something that took more digging, more cajoling, more everything than anything we've done before. It's a doubleheader interview with one of the last surviving members of the famed or infamous Chicago 7, Professor John Freund's and an interview with the man who prosecuted Freund's and the other members of the Chicago 7, Dick Schultz. For those of you who lived through the 60s and think you remember this story, then called the trial of the century, and for those of you who are younger but think yourself familiar with the story, perhaps because you watched Aaron Sorkin's new movie on Netflix, The Trial of the Chicago 7, with Sasha Baron Cohen, Eddie Redmayne, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I promise you, you don't really know this story. In fact, one of the points Freund's and Schultz agreed on was that Sorkin's movie, while entertaining, was largely fictional. The truth is, as always, more complicated and more interesting. But one thing is certain, the real trial of the Chicago 7 and the protests and riots that led up to it at the 1968 Democratic National Convention shook this country to its core and helped shape our politics to this day. Given the events of this last summer, recalling the events of that summer more than 50 years ago couldn't be more relevant or timely. Those discussions and more will be coming to you soon. So tune in, join the conversation, and we'll see you soon at the bar.